Swedish Talk Entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation, this is Rob. This video, we're going to continue the Godzilla 30 for 30 countdown leading up to the Godzilla 2014 movie release. And today's question... Today's question... <laughs> would you be upset if this movie didn't get a sequel? Now, this has been asked a lot towards me, so I'm reverting the question back to you guys. You know, at this point, I don't know. I, you know, part of me would be upset because, I, you know, I want to see Godzilla go on and I want to see uh, not only him go on, but the kaiju genre kind of get reinvigorated onto the scene. I know it's a hard genre to sell, but I think Gareth Edwards and, and the crew that's working on this movie and obviously Warner Brothers and Legendary backing them, I think that they've got a pretty good handle of how to present a kaiju in such a way that people can enjoy it. Uh, the thing of it is, is that it looks like he's got a great movie on his hands, so how do you top that in a sequel? Because Godzilla will not, while it'll still excite us, it'll still be awesome, a sequel, it, it won't be like it was the first time, it never will be. And a lot of the excitement is also generated from the Muto, so what happens in a sequel if the Muto don't survive this? Do we get a Toho monster? Is that something the general audience will be excited about? Uh, do they continue with the original monsters where they might disappoint some of the uh, hardcore fans? But quite frankly, if I never saw any Toho monster and they were to make a trilogy out of this, I wouldn't give a shit. <laughs> so, but um, it's it's a it's a double-edged sword because if you don't get a sequel, then it's like, oh man, I'll never be able to see Godzilla on screen again unless Toho starts doing movies. And then if you do get a sequel, let's face it, if this movie turns out to live up to ex expectations and turns out to be epic, it's going to be hard to top it. It's going to be hard to top it. So, ah, I don't know. I don't know. I think at the end of the day, if they make a sequel, as long as it follows the same format and formula as the first movie, I don't want them to do it just for the sake of doing it. I'm not going to lie. As much as I would love to see Godzilla in a sequel, if they're going to be, do a sequel, I want it to be done right. I want another good story. You know, I want it to be done the same way they're doing this one. Same kind of excitement. Uh, same kind of secrecy. You know, I, I, but let's see. Let's see what happens. The important thing, honestly, I think the most important thing about a sequel is making sure that Gareth is the one doing it. I think that's, for starters, if we're going to get one, that's the most important thing, is that Gareth Edwards is the one to direct it. And if they decide to make a trilogy out of it, and he's got they got to sign him on board, they need to back up the truck, pay the guy, and let him control this movie series if it becomes one. Outside of that... We'll see what happens. What do you guys think? Would you would you be upset if there wasn't a sequel? And if you would be, then why? And if not, then why? This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news. We just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to subscribe and join the Nation Facebook page. You're watching ETN, where we don't do news. We just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. I am become death.